Hey, what's up, my good friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor, and I help people navigate through their awakening process. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three core beliefs that block you from manifesting your ideal life. These are very deep, very subtle. There's not things you think about, and yet they are affecting you. I ran into all of these big time uh, on many levels the faster and more earnestly I pursued my dreams. These tend to manifest in, in, in ways where you, where you self-sabotage yourself, where you feel lazy and you just don't really do anything. And they can really, in a very subtly manipulative way, again, keep you at a complete stasis in a place in your life that you just don't prefer. Number one is fear that you won't be loved if you change. I just spoke with a client today via email and she was mentioning that she just had a, a psychedelic experience that revealed to her something very deep and profound that is a good example of this. I won't give her a name or anything, but she said that she's suffering from some health problems and she found, she discovered that there's a deep fear that if she doesn't have these health problems, then she won't have the same amount of love and affection from her mother who is caring for her. I had this exact same thing with when I started my online business. I was doing something outside of what I knew was uh, my, my parents' I, I pre preference for me. They liked me being a trainer, a personal trainer and having a gym. When I chose to shut that down and go in the direction I'm going in now, it's not what they wanted for me, I could tell. Whether they know that or not, that's just what I felt. And I discovered there's a deep fear of not being loved, not having my, the approval of my parents. And again, that would manifest in me starting projects and then giving up and, and changing my mind. Having that feeling of, like this is not right, this is not, this is not for me, even though it's what I wanted. So again, just be on the lookout for that. That's a very common thing because there's a very primal, instinctual desire for love and many of us will suffer and live out, you know, live out lives as a character that we think others prefer to maintain our perception of their love. And again, we won't want to step outside of the confines of that character construct in fear that, well, they're just not going to love us anymore if we change too much. So we'll sabotage ourselves and keep us here because that's what we really want. Number two is you hear this all the time, but it doesn't make a lot of sense is fear of success. Fear of, it's not so much you fear the success. It's we fear the responsibility, the big load, heavy is the crown, you know, that sort of thing. Are we going to be able to handle a lot of people depending on us? Are we going to be able to handle that, what we, is, what, that which we really want? A lot of us have really big dreams. A lot of those people I speak to, they're, they're artists. They want to be artists. They want to get their art out there. They want to start these big like healing centers. Well, there's a lot. You actually start doing that. You get yourself a building. You start hiring employees and getting people to come. It, it's, a, it's a scary thing. I had this when I had my gym. I had this when I had my medical marijuana grow operation and I had some partners. Um, and I certainly experienced this many times doing exactly what I'm doing now. And it's, it's, a, it's a feeling of, it's just, it's a very noticeable fear. Just, uh, it's, it's much safer to keep things as they are, just, just as they are now, even though I'm not happy, even though I'm broke, even though I don't feel very good, even though I don't feel fulfilled, Doing what I really love is kind of scary, but you gotta just do it anyway. The whole the whole message I'm gonna leave you with: you gotta press through these fears, press through these illusory blocks that are only products of your mind and the way we define things. But anyway, I won't get too off track. We'll go into number three. Number three is a lot of us feel unworthy, unworthy of happiness, unworthy of success, because we feel guilt. We feel guilty as we condemn and judge ourselves for the mistakes we've made in this lifetime. And therefore, on a very deep level, again, we sabotage ourselves because we don't really believe that we deserve abundance and the love of a soulmate and a job and career that fulfills us. 
So we, we sabotage ourselves and we punish ourselves essentially through laziness, through, again, many little bad habits that we pick up. The, the, these core beliefs manifest in so many ways that can seem unrelated, but if you keep insisting on pursuing your dreams, you'll eventually bring, you'll reduce all of these habits, all of these perceived blockages is stemming back to these very, again, these, these core beliefs, these core these core misaligned, untrue, ultimately, beliefs. And having the foresight, I kind of discovered this on my own, just like, oh, wow, you know, just this sort of, uh, again, I, did, I didn't have anyone to, to explain this to me. It just, it's the conclusions I drew just from boldly pursuing my dreams. I ran into all of these blocks, again, many times over, and in the face, in, in what seemed to be unrelated habits. But I'm really, I'm really, I'm a big proponent of constantly doing a lot of self-inquiry during the awakening. And that's something I still do to this day. And it can really be helpful in uh, uncovering the truth, the core motive behind a lot of these surface level tangent type blocks. So there's a couple different ways you can overcome these blocks. The most important thing is to go forward and do what you want to do in this life anyway. You're going to run into yourself a lot. You're going to run into your ego. It's going to flare up. The faster you go, the more it's going to be in your face trying to stop you, trying to make you think, well, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe we'll just do this. Maybe we'll take the safe route. But you just keep trudging forward up that snowy mountain regardless. You can't stop. You can't give up. You got to keep going forward. And number two is to take time. Give yourself time to inquire and try to, again, get to the root of all these old blocks you're going to run into as you, as you make your way forward. Again, the blocks will come in many faces, and you got to always try to inquire as to where their true origin is. And in doing so, you can see that it, you, it just clicks, and you, you just find yourself no longer exhibiting these behavioral, habitual blocks any longer, as you can now see at a conscious level that they are, in fact, stemming from some sort of untrue belief. Because you are worthy, you can handle success. And the notion that you can, again, is just an unexamined belief that you have deep within yourself. So, hopefully this video will help you guys. It is my goal and my hope for all of you to, to live the life that you already are now, I'm sure, envisioning for yourself, yet maybe not quite there yet. I know you can all do it, and that's what this awakening is going to help you with. It's going to illuminate all of these inner misalignments, and as you continue to rid yourself of them, you're going to find yourself moving forward very quickly. So have an amazing day. Speak to you tomorrow. Namaste.